Assalamu alaikum my dear learners welcome to the english online class with me Shamima Nasreen lecturer department of english national ideal college dhaka hope the things are going well with you by the grace of the almighty well today i am going to take second class on the special use of phrases or words please keep your diary or keep your uh, pen and copy with you to note down the details about the phrases or words are you ready let us begin today's class here are the 10 phrases now i'm going to discuss Our first phrase is, what's the matter? The Bengali meaning of it is, ki bapar. Okay, we used it to ask or talk about why somebody seems worried or unhappy. The structure for it is, what's the matter plus with plus noun or noun phrase. The examples, what's the matter with your office? Number B, Aisha, what's the matter? Number C, what's the matter with your eye? It looks red. So, students, in this lecture, I, I am giving you three examples of every single phrase to make you understandable so that you can a clear-cut idea about the phrases about the using of phrases okay and sometimes the some of phrases there are some of phrases when you find the same clues so it is necessary to understand the meaning of the sentence okay to make your sense of the sentence sentence ortho buje phrase to use korte hobe beside the clues so in this phrase we can see the clues if we find any noun or noun phrase after the phrase what is the matter you find a preposition that is with and in the end of the sentence you find the interrogative sign now the next no sooner had than is a renowned phrase to you is the bengali meaning of it is hote na hote it is the negative form of as soon as we use it to say something happened almost immediately after something else duto ghotonar por por ghoteche erokom ti bojhatei amra no sooner has than a phrase to use kore thaki jodi eta jehetu eta conjunctional phrase tai amra obosshoi ei phrase jukto sentence e duto clause pabo okay now the structure no sooner had plus subject plus v3 plus extension then plus subject plus v2 plus extension then connected clause and no sooner had connected clause because of this had the verb must be v3 past participle and then connected clause past indefinite now let us see the examples a. No sooner had he sat down than the phone rang. She boshte na boshte phone ti beje uthe chilo. Number B. No sooner had he got home than the rain stopped. She barite pochote na pochote brishti theme gye chilo. Dudo kaj. He got home, the rain stopped. Okay. Now C. No sooner had Don jumped upon the table than the lighted candle fell on the papers. Now the next phrase. 
what if we use uh, what if to mean what would happen if okay the bengali meaning of it is ki hobe ki hoto ba ki hoy the structure of it is what if plus affirmative sentence or negative sentence it means what if plus a clause and in the end of the sentence interrogative sign now the examples a i am not able to meet you today ami ajke tomar sathe dekha korte parbo na ba sokkhom na somvob noy what if you come tomorrow instead of this afternoon ki hoy ba ki hobe jodi ajke bikeler poriborte amra agami kal tumi jodi agami kal asho number b what if bangladesh become singapore in the coming decade it will be a miracle number c what if we are rich now it is high time or it is time or it is about time these are synonyms it is uh, the bengali meaning of the phrase is ekhoni shomoy okay um we should do something it emphasize should okay so to express the importance of someone so doing something soon we use the phrase informally the structure of it is it is high time or it is time or it is about time plus subject plus v2 plus extension another uh, structure it is high time or it is time or it is about time plus 2 plus v1 it means if we find any subject after this we must uh, use it past indefinite the main verb must be past tense v2 and if we don't find any subject then 2 plus v1 it is high time it is high time it is about time plus 4 plus noun plus 2 plus v1 it is another structure if we find of uh, preposition 4 plus noun or pronoun after the phrase okay so uh, my dear students it is noted here again the sentence er kichu clue obosshoi thake je clue gulo diye amra appropriate phrase ta ke sentence e boshate pari in spite of that you should understand the meaning of the sentence sentence er meaning obosshoi bujhte hobe that's why you should practice a lot okay again the examples a it is high time you started thinking about saving for your old age ekhoni shomoy tomar chinta kara uchit shuru kara uchit ki chinta about saving for your old age tomar biddho boyosher jonno kichu save korar bhabna ta ekhon thekei bhaba uchit ekhoni shomoy you should do number b it is time It is time you cleaned the room properly. Number C. It is time to decide what to do. Now the next phrase. But for. But for the Bengali meaning of keu chara ba kichu chara ba jodi kichu na khorto jodi erokom ta na hoto. Okay. So it means uh, except for someone or something. or if it were not for someone or something jodi keu ba kichu na thakto na ghorto then eta bujhate we can use but for phrase the structure for it but for plus because of this preposition for noun or pronoun or noun phrase the example a but for the railing i'd have fallen down the stairs I would have fallen down the stairs. I mean, she thinks he poured it. I mean, I poured it. Why? Because of the railing. Railing touch it. Railing touch. If not, then that whole she thinks I am poured it. Why? That is, but for time, I have not used it. If there is any other thing, then I am not going to be able to use it. I am not going to be able to use it. I am not going to be able to use it. I am not going to be able to use it. I am not going to be able to use it. I am not going to be able to use it. Number B. But for the support of my friends. I never would have survived that difficult time. 
আমি সেই কঠিন সময়ে সার্ভাইভ করতে পারতাম না যদি না আমার বন্ধুদের সাহায্য বা সাপোর্ট না থাকতো এবারে সাপোর্ট ছিল দ্যাটস ওয়াই আই উড হ্যাভ সার্ভাইভ অ্যাট দ্যাট ডিফিকাল্ট টাইম নাম্বার সি উই উড হ্যাভ রিচড দ্য সামথ বাট ফর দ্য ওয়েদার আমরা মিটিংয়ে পৌঁছাতে পারতাম কিন্তু পারিনি বাট ফর দ্য ওয়েদার কিন্তু ওয়েদারের জন্য হয়নি ওয়েদার ওকে থাকলে অবশ্যই আমরা সেখানে থাকতাম থাকতে পারতাম now let us see the next phrase would you mind or do you mind would you mind or do you mind the bengali meaning of it apni ki kichu mone korben we can use it formally formally used phrase it means uh, asking for help asking for permission or a favor the structure for it would you mind or do you mind plus v1 plus ing plus extension another structure would you mind or do you mind plus if clause there are two structures for it if we use a verb directly after the phrase the verb must be ing connected or if clause now let us see the example a would you mind explaining that again please apni ki kichu mone korben doya kore eti abar বুঝিয়ে বলতে বাবার একটু ব্যাখ্যা করবেন নাম্বার বি ডু ইউ মাইন্ড ইফ ইউ ডিসকাস ইট লেটার যদি কিছু মনে না করেন বা আপনি কি কিছু মনে করবেন আমরা যদি এটি পরে আলোচনা করি সি উড ইউ মাইন্ড গিভিং মে হ্যান্ড উইথ দিস আপনি কি কিছু মনে করবেন আমাকে এই কাজে একটু সাহায্য করতে সাহায্য করবেন বা আমার এই কাজে একটু হাত লাগাবেন এই অর্থে বসেছে তো অ্যাগেইন স্টুডেন্টস ইউ শুড understand the meaning of the sentence why there are many phrases after which we can get ing connected verb okay then with a view to or with an eye to it is also a formally used phrase it means jonno uh, with a view to or with an eye to Okay, we use it to express the intention or hope of doing something. It indicates the purpose of doing something. The structure with a view to or with an I to plus V1 plus ING plus extension. After the phrases, we can use ING connected verb. With a view to or with an I to, actually the in order to. But after the in order to, we use V1. But with a view to and with an I to, you should use ing connected verb or in other words if you find ing connected verb and the sentence indicates the purpose we use the phrase with a view to now the examples a he is painting the house she baiti rong korche why gap selling it for a good price eta khub bhalo dame jora dame bikri korbar jonno this is the intention or purpose and ing connected verb so the phrase with a view to or with an i to number b these measures have been taken with a view to increasing the company's profits c she is doing an interpreter's course with an eye to getting a job abroad then what do you mean the bengali meaning of it is maniki okay uh, it in it uh, we express or you can say uh, to express our surprise or annoyed okay when we are surprised or we are annoyed and and really we ask someone to explain about what he or she has done or what he or she has said আমরা রেগে গিয়ে বা অবাক হয়ে ফ্রেসটি ব্যবহার করি কারো কাছ থেকে অনেকটা বলতে পারি যে কৈফি হচ্ছে আবার উদ্দেশ্য এক্সপ্লেইন চাচ্ছি আমরা এক্সকিউজ চাচ্ছি সে অর্থে নর্মালি ইউজ হয় যখন কোনো কিছু বোঝা যাচ্ছে না আমরা নর্মালি ইউজ করতে পারি বাট এটা হচ্ছে আরেকটা ইউজিং বট ডিউ মিন ইন দিস অফ দ্য ফ্রেস নাও দ্য স্ট্রাকচার what do you mean plus clause another structure what do you mean plus by plus ing connected verb plus extension example a what do you mean you have cancelled the trip mane ki tumi trip ta cancel korecho 
फोन दे What you mean by sending the gift to him? Taki gift pattern or money ki? Okay. Now, how about? How about the Bengali meaning of it is kamon hoy. Kono kicho korele kamon hoy. It uh, the meaning or it indicates to make a suggestion or to offer something or asking someone their opinion on something. The structure for it. How about plus noun or noun phrase? Another structure. How about plus ing connected verb plus extension. Example A. How about going for a walk? Kya mon hai? Harte gele. B. How about a cup of tea? You look tired. Toh maake klan to dekha chhe kya mon hai? A cup cha hole kya mon hai? कारो अपिनियन चावाजी मिनिंग Or you find a gray uh, gap after the subject. Okay, so to express our want to have something or do something. Okay, we would like to do something or we would like to have something. So except that we can use instead of we can use feel like. The structure for it feel like plus ing connected verb or noun or noun phrase. The examples a. In these days, my son feels like a burger and fries. ये शो मौज गुलोते, हमारे इधर नहीं, हमारे छेले burger एवं fries चाय. Okay, my son, third person singular number, and that's why feel is feels, verbal phrase. So it must follows the subject. It means that in these days, my son want wants a burger and fries. My son would like to. Have a burger and fries. B. We all got bored and felt like leaving. We all got bored. Past indefinite tense. Got bored. Amra kisha by klanto ba bilok tonu bo korchi and felt like leaving. Ebang chuti jaichi, chuti chie chilam. Felt, feel, felt. Past tense. C. Do you know? तुम्हें कि जानो व्हाट आई फील लाइक आमी कि चाय इंटरोगेटिव साइन दिस इंटरोगेटिव साइन इज नॉट फॉर फील लाइक इट इज फॉर इंटरोगेटिव साइन इज फॉर डू यू नो इट इज द क्वेश्चन डू यू नो दैट्स व्हाई हियर इंटरोगेटिव साइन व्हाट आई फील लाइक इट इज नॉर्मली यूज्ड आई वांट अ नाइस कप ऑफ टी द चमत्कार एक कप चाय ओके माय डियर Lovely studious students, it is time to finish now. See you, inshallah, next time. Till then, be fine with your family and please do daily based study at home. Hope for the best. Thank you and keep me in your prayers. Allah Hafiz.